there. So, all right, let's do this. Or oh, there may have been a little bit of gasoline from before. I don't know. Let's just do it one more time. It shouldn't have turned on. I'm surprised. All right, you're good now. Turn it back off. At least the battery is working. All right. Oh, I forgot to loosen this. Let me loosen this. Okay, I'm using a little crescent wrench and um, the screwdriver. So I'm going to leave it loose, but I'm going to turn the screwdriver half a turn. Then I'm going to start again with the valve on. Okay, the valve is on. I'm going to go ahead and start it again. By the way, um, we want to eliminate any kind of source of ignition. The AC went on, so I actually paused the video, went in, and uh, turned it off. No, the AC is way too far from um, the generator for anything to happen. But, you know, I also want to hear how the generator sound, and the AC was kind of too loud. So, anyways, it's time now. I'm going to put it here to gas. Um, the valve is on. And I'm going to turn it on. not working all right let's do what it says we should be doing I'm checking all the valves are on I'm gonna go loosen the nut a little bit and go another half a turn doesn't sound good so yep it went out so uh, part of it could be like a, a little bit of air in the line another part could be maybe we have to do this a little bit more so uh, let's turn Hold on. all right I went in another half a turn let's see what's gonna happen now Try that. No, that didn't help. Let me put it back again where it was. All right, all right, no choke, no choke needed. So let's go do another half a turn. gonna shut this off and we're gonna do what it says now we're gonna turn it back open the way it was before that's what it says if it doesn't start you just do the whole thing again so turn it in back all right let's start it again the choke Oops. don't tell anyone I forgot I'm sorry It was fine, so I have to pull it back in until I get the desired um, flow of gas. Ah, 
choke. I don't think choke even works that way, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Well, maybe it does work. Choke is on. I'm gonna wait with the choke. sure what's going on. I want to try this one more time with the choke again. Choke is on. Running. I'm going to try to release the choke. Sounds good, I'm gonna go up. There it's good. Alright, I'm gonna tighten it to this position, it's working. There was, um, we shut off the valve to it. It's running completely on gas. You can tell that the gas is running. See how it's moving. Let's shut it off. And if you have read, um, read the instruction for generators, you do not just shut it off from there. What you want to do is, whether it's gasoline, propane, or natural gas, you want to just uh, empty the whole carburetor from whatever is inside. And so you shut off the um, gas part. And I would say here rather than here at the meter um, to make sure this is not leaking too. If it was leaking, it would bypass. Um, it would not turn off, it would still run. All right, let's go shut this one off again. Okay, it's working. Look at that. Wow. Oh, by the way, it doesn't smell as bad. The exhaust is not as bad as it used to be with the um, gasoline. Uh, propane smells good too. Well, not good, but better. But natural gas uh, burns much cleaner. However, as you know, um, I don't know if it says it here, right there with gasoline it says um, it gives you 9400 um, max and then um, running 7500 uh, with LP 84 uh, to 67 um, running and with uh, natural gas it's probably gonna be much less so I'm gonna say um, probably a thousand less so about 7000 running uh, yes and that's a uh, low point to this. However, you know, again, uh, during Ida, which took, um, I think it took like about a whole month um, for right away that night, we didn't have any electricity. This was off. Um, and then uh, water was off for a couple of days. Uh, thank God they turned that back on. But gas never turned off. And gas is cheaper too. It doesn't cost you as much at all. Matter of fact, right now I'm paying a lot of money um, on the gas bill just for the service which is like $15 for this and you know $5 for that that I pay every single month um, no matter if I'm using anything at all um, and I'm just using a stove and um, a water heater and obviously it's we are in um, April almost April tomorrow is April and um, there is no um, heating in, uh, in charge so I'm paying like, I don't know, $20 right now, but this is not gonna cost me too much. And I don't have to go to the gas station. I do not have to have canisters and put gas behind my house, which either people are gonna you know, steal, or um, maybe it's gonna cause a, a fire problem. This is the best way. Now, um, 
I would not leave it this way if I want to do um, anything with that. So the way I was thinking of um, putting it, I have long enough pipe that I may be able to actually put it here inside, right there, with the exhaust going out here. So we have openings on both sides. So um, am I worried about carbon monoxide? And not really. Um, there is no window. These are not windows. This is, I don't know what you call it, some kind of French something. Um, so they're not windows, they do not open. Um, could it go up? Yes, but again, I'm gonna have um, the exhaust going out this way. And so if the exhaust goes this way, even if the wind goes that way, the chances of it going up or towards the window is, is little. And even if it does, it's diluted. However, um, this uh, model of Fearman H07552 does not come with any uh, carbon monoxide kind of thing. Um, even if it does, it just detects anything um, at the level it, it is. If you have carbon monoxide um, inside the house, um, this will not tell you anything. It will just con continue to run. So you do need to have carbon monoxide um, system in, inside your house. Um, the best place to put this generator really, if it was me, is out here somewhere. Uh, six feet at least away from uh, anything that's combustible like a gas meter or anything else. Not close to the well, to the air conditioner, of course, either, because not only it's a source of ignition, but also um, it doesn't need to get extra heat from the engine. Um, but then you have to have some kind of shelter. So if you don't have wind, put one of those canopies around it right here so the um, water, the rain, would not um, do anything to it. It should be good. All right, one last thing. Uh, let's actually read what it says. All right, we are back to the same place we were before. Um, it says you will need to adjust um, adjust it one final time when you put the most common sized load on the genera generator. The amount of the power you will need if your power goes out. So uh, basically right now we just adjusted the whole thing with that screw on the top right here just to get it running, but there is obviously nothing attached to it. So um, once we have, uh, what I had last time was the um, uh, two door window air conditioning that I had, one on this window, that's one of the bedrooms, and one because we had somebody actually living with us at, during that time. Um, another one at that uh, master bedroom. Um, and then the um, refrigerator was on, we had, um, what else did we have? We have some lamps on, which, you know, LED lights doesn't really take much um, energy. Um, but, you know, a bunch of stuff. So whatever your normal load is, you put that on and then you adjust it because it, it will actually take more gas uh, in, um, in comparison to the uh, air that it's using right now. So it has to be richer. And that, uh, that whole thing, I, I believe when you pull that out, this um, screw, when you pull it out, uh, it releases more gas through here so that's what it does and again if when we put it uh, pull it out too much it went out or maybe it's the other way around actually I think let me see let's see and this regulator if you push it in it pushes out too much gas not sure anyways uh, you know you saw how it is if it was, if it was too far out it would go out if it's too far in, it would go go out anyways or the, it started running the wrong way so um, it has to adjust to the load that you have and um, so you have everything on and then you adjust it however you know with the generators you will never ever put anything on when you start it. you leave it the way it is right now you start it then you uh, plug in everything that you want and even before you shut it off you have to unplug everything then you shut it off so turn it on Put everything uh, inside and um, then you can adjust the whole thing uh, okay guys I think it's done one more last time to see if it's gonna work um, you're gonna turn this back on it probably because there is not, uh, not much concentration of gas inside maybe it's gonna take a while for it to start but not that long anymore we already adjusted everything <laughs> there you go again. Well, you know what? I'm gonna use the choke. It's it's never been warm really. I just tried it right after it turned on. Everything 
working. Thanks for watching. I know it was a long video, I'm sorry. There were like five or six parts. Uh, but again, I just want to make sure that you guys uh, know what to do with the whole thing. If you uh, put your regulator um, on the other side where I ask you to do, please um, send a picture, reply and send a picture. If you want to put it right here, so people can see how you can actually install it. Thank you. All right, last thing before we go, the, this is the last page, last two pages, 22 and 23. It says the accessories you could get, um, Lazy Man's um, oil drain. I showed you how I did that, um, you know, oil. It's not that hard, but you know, if you really need to get something like with a pump, you know, can go ahead and do that. Um, I would not say, I would not tell you to use propane at all because it, I told you it freezes. However, this one is interesting. It says, um, generator tent um what does it say let me read it from this way our tent significantly reduces sound and protects the generator from rain wind and other elements tent material is flame uh, retarded nylon blah blah um well i don't know if it's gonna keep it from um, rain if any one of you have that would you please comment and let me know if it worked for you if you did it out in the elements and it still worked didn't go bad um, I know a lot of people leave it out and um, it's actually bad for the engine and stuff like that anyways let me know uh, God bless take care bye